Uh, my name is Dale Vecchio. I'm a research analyst in the uh, Application Strategy and Governance Group here at Gardner. I cover uh, uh, mainframe modernization as one of the coverage areas that I have. Mainframe modernization covers a lot of, uh, a lot of areas. It is not uncommon as a Gartner analyst in my coverage area to get inquiries from mainframe customers asking whether they should stay or not. Uh, I'm probably the only Gartner analyst you know that has a theme song and it's called Should I Stay or Should I Go? And it's by The Clash. Uh, and the question is not, uh, the question is, is a tale of two cities really. It depends on the size and scale and complexity of the applications. Uh, it's not, uh, we don't recommend that anyone should, we say it is technologically possible to do so. It also depend, it depends on the size, the complexity of the application. Uh, it depends on the openness of the organization to other opportunities to do that. As you can imagine, I speak to a lot of, a lot of clients, some who are considering moving, some who have absolutely already made the move. And the, the questions really boil down to, uh, will I get the same quality of service if I move off the mainframe as if I stay on? Will it run as well? Will it perform as well? Will it be as reliable? Because if all of that stuff was true, people would be less reluctant to move, whether they're driven by cost concerns or whether rather they're, they're driven by concerns over skills availability or just simply the applications are no longer responsive and agile. We get all of these reasons for driving it. But customers want to hear directly from somebody who did it. You know, how long did it take? How much did it cost? Was it worth it? Would you do it again? And so these kind of case studies where customers are willing to come and say what they went through and give you their experiences are really, really valuable. I get a lot of stories in the background, and I can't mention the names during an inquiry. I might tell you about the general nature of the experience and what I've seen, but I can never make the, mention the customer. These are perfect examples where the customer is willing to stand up and talk about it to you about exactly what happened. So I always think it's much, much better uh, if you, well, if you hear from the client than me and me than the vendor. So it's always, uh, it's always good someone who's been through it, they're in production, they've gone through all of the pains, they can tell you where the value proposition was, they can tell you what the cost savings are. So my role today is to try and help moderate any uh, conversation that we may have today if you have any questions both to either Mark or I, we will take them during the course of the day. Um, you know, my presence here is really to talk about and discuss the issues around the market. It's not meant to be here as an endorsement to any of these vendors that are in this room, nor, is it, nor should you conclude that I am opposed to any of the vendors in this room. But I really want to be able to, to bring sort of some marketing perspective and let Mark uh, at GE Capital give you his specific experiences of going through this effort. So during the course of this, if you have anything, uh, any questions of Mark or of myself, we're happy to have you interrupt the presentation. You don't have to wait to the end or anything like that, okay? So on that, let me turn this over to Cindy. Uh, and if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you. Legacy landscape, I think we already know about. Bale's already covered it. It's expensive. There are multiple places you can go. If you have pre-relational database technology, in some cases that can be hindersome to you as well. And your goal ultimately is to be agile and to get there without having the problems that you might believe that you're going to encounter along the way. <coughs> you have options. Doing nothing is definitely an option. Some of the folks who are out there have probably done nothing over you do have the option also to do re-engineering, which is the uh, other extreme from the do nothing and, and may take a long time and may, in fact, introduce risk into your project. Today's discussion is going to be around the rehosting effort that Mark and the GE Capital folks did for their mainframe applications. With rehosting, you have lower costs and less um, lower costs and less risk involved in the 
the particular project that you're doing. And in the case of GE Capital, they were actually using the TMAX soft target platform in Unix to rehost the applications from the mainframe. However, before they could do that rehosting, they did need to do some conversion of the applications that were there. That's where the Ateris teams actually came in. The ads online applications and IDMS DC COBOL applications had to make their way to CICS COBOL. The IDMS databases had to make their way to the Oracle databases that ultimately GE Capital was looking to have. So between Ateris and TMAX, we did provide the platform that Mark and his team took their applications to. So Ateris provide the conversion capabilities, database, data, and application side. And TMAX Soft provides the target environment to, to do emulation of CICS COBOL to take care of all of the batch processing. Ateris has been in business for the last 28 years. For the last 20 years, we have done conversion and, and acted in the conversion space. The first 10 years of that actually included many manual conversions from non-relational database technology and the languages that go with it to relational. We provide optimum solutions in three different areas, conversion, re-engineering, and re-hosting. So depending on what you're actually looking to do with your applications, what your future looks like, we have solutions that may be able to address each of those. In our migration process and our transformation practice, we do take you from start to end, assessment, database and data conversion, and the application conversion as well. Our tools that are out there that you may have seen on the show floor or may be looking at, understanding tools can become very valuable. We have our EVE tool suite that provides documentation and understanding, impact analysis. It's a desktop tool that your teams can use for your COBOL applications and for your natural applications, whether they reside on the mainframe or off the mainframe. For conversion, we provide our conversion as a service. We use our DB Shuttle tool suite. It takes care of the application <coughs> language changes, the database design changes, and also the transition of the data from the existing structure to the relational technology. Our re-engineering tool is called EVE RPM. It is a snap-on to the EVE suite, and RPM stands for Rapid Program Modernization. This is an opportunity to drastically reduce the amount of time you spend doing a re-engineering effort and do a tool-assisted re-engineering effort instead of a manual one. And finally, we have a rehosting tool just announced this week. It's called ATP. It allows natural applications to be rehosted to the Windows environment, and that can be almost the lift and shift that the TMAX soft team offers for the COBOL environment. So our benefits are that we do everything with automation. We take full advantage of our automation technology and the practices that go around it. Our solutions are comprehensive. They're low risk. They're fast. We have fixed timelines that go with it. And we're successful in what we do. It's, it's been a great set of years for the last 20 years working with our customers to do conversion strategies. We have been recognized by Gartner last year as a, a cool tool vendor and also by SQL Server Magazine and our partners at Microsoft. We have a skilled team of experts who work not only with mainframe technology that we're coming from, but also the target technology that's in place. So that's a little bit about Ateris working with the conversion side of the, the project you're going to learn about from Mark. TMAXsoft is a partner of ours also and involved in this project, provided the target environment for the GE Capital applications. Executing in Unix, the open frame environment is what was used for both the online and the batch applications as they moved off the mainframe into that Unix environment. TMAXsoft also offers capabilities in SOA and also with middleware products for Tiburo, their own RDBMS, for instance. So there are other capabilities that TMAX offers as well. They provide a proven path. Lots of organizations are looking to take the applications they have today and move them to a lower cost, more open environment, providing them with the capabilities of a relational technology as well. You can preserve your business rules, your business investment, and do this lift and shift process with the TMAX team, saving yourselves a lot of money and basically get a, a great return on your investment. In the TMAX environment, your mainframe environment actually has your applications in place today, your 3270 emulation. You might have other languages that 
aren't involved in the GE project, for instance, PL1, that the teams at TMAX Soft can take care and rehost for you as well. On the mainframe side, you have platform dependency and exclusive protocols that we all know are in place. With the TMAX process, they have a rehosting process that they'll actually take you through, taking your applications, your databases, and moving them instead to the Unix platform for execution there and the openness and agility that that provides to you. In that environment, you're using OpenFrame instead of CICS, and you're using OpenFrame also for your batch processing. But everything is more open. It's platform independent, and you can use the standard TCP IP protocols that are out there. TMAX benefits include the proven path. You can definitely lift those applications and move them into the TMAX environment. They will move over there. They will execute there very easily, and they will be high performance. And Mark will share information about that with you. It is a robust platform. There are tools that are available there that you might not have in the mainframe environment. And you can have an architecture that's consistent with your organization with the TMAX soft solution. You also have freedom to make some choices. So if you'd like to go to, to Oracle and, or use an SOA framework, you can do those also with the TMAX suite of tools. And finally, benefits-wise, because the application is moving fully intact, there's no retraining required. There's no expensive time spent to retrain your users on how to use the new application. It will look and perform as it does today.